Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Another day, another pair of Mickey ears, um, which means we're talking Disney. Today, we are gonna talk about what I would not pass up on during my Disney cruise, coming from a self-proclaimed Disney cruise expert. Number one, I made the mistake of not taking any of the professional photos on my first cruise. And then on our second cruise, I just purchased the small package um, because the photos were just so good. So I would not pass up on buying the unlimited digital photo package. The photographers are fantastic on the cruise. You get so many photo ops. And to be honest, they just do not compare to your cell phone. Trust me, I made the mistake. Spend, I think it's $190 um american to get unlimited digital photos your kids can go through the ship take pictures of the characters it's just memories that you will have forever so do not pass up on that i definitely won't next would be the souvenir mug and the souvenir cups um especially if you're drinkers like alcohol beverages you get a bigger portion for less and you get this really cool mug. So why wouldn't you do that? We do that every cruise. Um, it saves us money and we get more for our money that way. So that is something I will always make sure that I have. Sticking with the alcohol theme, I won't pass up on a mixology class or a tasting of, of any kind. Um, I've had the pleasure to do the mixology, the gin tasting, um, rum tasting. It's just so fun. It's adult entertainment. You get to meet great people and the bartenders are usually so fun. So you definitely want to book one if you can. They are a little surcharge. Um, they usually vary between like 40 to $60 per person. Definitely worth it. Next is Disney attire. I will not not wear Disney attire on a Disney cruise. I always make sure that I have a little bit in my budget to buy the t-shirt, to buy the spirit jersey, um, or even splurge a little bit on some Disney attire before my cruise. Um, so I just love being in theme and that includes pirate night. So that is something that I will always make sure that I have um, going on to my Disney cruise. There you have it. Those are the four things that I will always purchase on my Disney cruise. Thank you for watching. I hope these tips bring you some insight on what to do for your Disney cruise. If you have a Disney cruise booked, please let me know when you're going so I can share in the magic with you because I love talking Disney and it just makes me so happy. Um, if you like vlogs, Disney, and just advent family adventure, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get to see our adventures coming up, which will include Disney vlogs on the Disney dream.